the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Another episode of Outlaw of College Football. That's me, the OCF, also known as JPC. <laughs> In today's class, you know, I really didn't think this would continue to drag on through the summer, even though I said that. But it is still, it's almost June now, and we're still talking about Lincoln Riley and his entourage of douche nozzles that he took with him out to L.A. If it ain't him, it's Caleb Williams. If it ain't Caleb Williams, it's Caleb Williams' daddy. But now, <laughs> now, it's Alex Grinch. Perion Winfrey came out and said some interesting stuff the other day on Twitter between him and Isaiah Coe. Now, these days, you can't be innocent in the whole Twitter thing. So these players, they knew what they were doing. They did this deliberately, in my estimation. But before we get to all that, I'd like to ask you guys and gals to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want to support the channel, if you look down underneath this video, you have the like and the share and the download options. And right there next to download options is that uh, heart that says thanks. You can give a few dollars to the show. And that way I'm not as dependent on YouTube and their censoring as sponsors. <laughs> now, getting right back to it. Um... <laughs> USC people been begging me to stop. Like, hey man, is he living rent free in your head? You know, the old seventh grade catchphrase that was probably invented in the early part of this century, that kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Y'all like to come up with some better catchphrases too. That rent free thing is getting, it's a little taxing, a little bit old, man. But, it ain't that he's living in our head rent-free, USC. It's that he keeps putting himself out there and his entourage. Caleb Williams losing his noodle. Now you got Perion Winfrey and Isaiah Coe basically calling this man out on Twitter, calling him things like the career stiller. And it all started when Perion Winfrey made the um, comment that he didn't know which one was worse, Alex Grinch or the Grinch that stole Christmas. And then he went on to say that Joe Woods, the defensive coordinator at Cleveland, was a much better defensive coordinator than Alex Grinch ever thought of being. That finally he had someone that would actually coach him like a real defensive player, which is about as insulting as you can get for a defensive coordinator. The reason I keep expounding on this and doing podcast on this and not letting it go is because when there is a what do you call it the um the, when there's a consistency and a and a connecting of the dots it's something that you have to speak on when there's a continuing uh theme going on with lincoln riley and the people that follow him it's like one thing after another if it was just one person or just one fan base saying it, I'd leave it alone. But it's not just Oklahoma. It's not just me. It's not just Perion Winfrey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That rhymes. Maybe I should start doing a rap song before the video dedicated to whomever we're going to grill during the day. Leave in the comment section. Tell, tell me if you want to see my rap talents displayed. But anyway, Back to the topic. For a player to call you a career still, that's, that's pretty deep. Like I said, I, I wouldn't just keep expounding on this if it wasn't different people from different areas, from, from different walks that didn't just keep saying things about Lincoln and his little entourage. But to call someone a career stealer? I think that the people out there that are recruiting against USC, 
in my opinion, I think they should use that against USC and Alex Grinch. Because who would want to go play for a man that's a career stealer? And by career stealer, I mean, he didn't say it. He didn't come out and define that. But the way it was used, used in the context it was used in the sentence, huh, tells me that Alex Grinch is not a guy that looks out for players and their aspirations of being a player in the NFL one day. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. That could be Alex Grinch saying, you know what, hey, this is about our team. This is about you playing as a team player and you doing what you're supposed to do in our system. See, I can be fair. That could be the issue. I mean, we could see down the road where Perry Allen Winfrey pans out to be just another long line of idiotic, um, <laughs> narcissistic athletes that just uh, believe that they're the only thing that matters. But I don't really think that's going to happen. What I think is happening is the fact that it's being exposed that the last year they was there, not only was a career stealer, but Isaiah Coe said that they stole their season. And that's something that a lot of people have been talking about, and they really had a lot, a lot of proof to prove that, but just gut feeling. Gut feeling says that Lincoln Riley had a eye on that USC job a good month in advance and was recruiting for USC in a month in advance. And for Isaiah Coe, and Perry on Winfrey to banter about like that, where everybody can see them, tells me that uh, from what Isaiah Coe said about them stealing their season, that says a lot. That says to me that all those players, in spite of Lincoln Riley and his staff, won 11 games. Probably could have won more than that. Could have maybe even played for the national championship had things been done right, had those coaches not had been calling it in the last month of the season and leaving University of Oklahoma ass out because they're recruiting for USC on the down low. And all these USC fans come in here and they're like, well, see, we out recruited them, blah, 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 blah. Sure you did. You know, why are you out recruiting them? Because you had all them transfer portal players. For one thing, in my opinion. And of course, you're going to get your majority of transfer port players because you're a four and eight team, and you got immediate playing time because the players you got suck. <laughs> but here's a word of advice for the USC fans out there: if you want everybody to shut up about this, get with your coaches, Lincoln Riley, Alex Grinch, maybe even get with Caleb Williams and his daddy, and just tell them. Stay out of the news. Don't volunteer information. And as far as Perry and Winfrey and people like that, no, you can't control that. But when you do bad deeds in the past, sometimes that's just a big old cup of karma and shit out of luck coming your way, and you just have to deal with it. But to help yourself, try not to go out and make podcasts and write love letters and, and novelistic articles to a newspaper like Lincoln Riley and you won't have this issue. And that's all I got to say about that. You guys and gals tell me what you think about this situation. Do you think it's just uh, a disgruntled player venting? Or do you think that this shows a consistent pattern of, for lack of a better term, shadiness on Lincoln Riley and his douche nozzle entourage. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now dismissed.